Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tarot by the Book. Tarot by the Book is essentially a series where I like to share with you a three card month ahead reading where I will read the cards intuitively using a randomly selected deck for that particular month. And after I've read the three cards intuitively, I'll then jump into the guidebook and read the messages from the guidebook. So you get to see sort of how this deck reads, at least with my reading style, uh, both with and without its book. And I think it's a great way to highlight the guidebooks. We don't often get a lot of airtime for guidebooks, and I really enjoy doing this series, so I wanted to bring it back here. So let's dive into it. Today we're going to be we're looking at the Affirmator's Tarot. Um, this is one that I think got a little bit of attention when it first came out and I haven't seen a lot about it since but it's a charming deck. It's by knockknockstuff.com. Uh, you can find it directly on their website. I do have a coupon code they gave me a while back when they sent me the Affirmator's Oracle for Creativity for review and I did a whole Affirmator's extravaganza video so I will link the video in the cards if I remember or in the description box and I will put my coupon code if you want to buy directly from Knock Knock Stuff if you are interested in this deck um, but you can also buy it at other retailers it's a mass market deck and as far as I know at the time I'm filming this is still available <clears throat> so it's a really sweet deck um, it has that same sort of box and cardstock feel as uh, the Tarot of the Divine if you have that one or have felt that one it feels very similar to me, but it's a clamshell style box. It just opens with a little thumb cutout. It has a ribbon uh, you can lift the deck out of. And the guidebook is stitch bound, which is really nice. I really enjoy this deck. The cards have this really gorgeous metallic stamping on the back. And yes, it says Affirmator's Tarot, but it says it so prettily that I don't even mind. Normally not a big fan of words on the back. Would have preferred no words, but honestly, I... I still like it. <laughs> um, and the deck at first glance looks very pippish with its bold colors and symbols, but the scenes are definitely here. There's just not a lot of background things happening in these cards, so uh, it's really it's really fun. <clears throat> and the guidebook is fantastic, so I'm excited to feature it um, in one of these videos. So here's how this works. I'm going to be focusing on our month ahead. If you are interested in a month ahead reading or if you want to focus on any issue that you think can be answered with card positions, energy, obstacle, and advice, then focus on that issue. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at messages for the month ahead. And this is just a general reading for the collective. So obviously, you'll take what resonates and don't worry if it doesn't all line up perfectly. But it'll give us a chance to see how the deck reads. I will say this cardstock feels thinner than the Tarot of the Divine, but the texture is very similar um, and it feels like it'll hold up really nicely. All right, let's get ready to do our reading. Gotta love a good whistle. Yeah, it's like a it's like a plasticky linen cardstock. It's super fun. All right, let's see what we have here. So our energy for the month ahead. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> just going to pull my focus into the center. There we go. Our obstacle. And so this position, I like to read as if the card were reversed, although I'm not looking at reversals. So obstacle is three of pentacles. And our advice card, the queen of cups. All right, I'm going to set the cards to the side and zoom us in a bit so you can see the cards better. All right, so here we are. Energy, obstacle, and advice. So the energy, the nine of wands. Here we have a zebra. He looks totally panicked. He's got like sweat like running off of his face and he's dashing over this hurdle and all of these other wands are kind of going flying and you definitely get this feeling like he's barely holding it together. So I feel like the month ahead we're really going to be dealing with some of that energy where we're just kind of just pushing through and trying to get it done but feeling like we are like barely making it like just barely by the skin of our teeth by barely making it over the hurdles but we are making it and I think that's the thing we need to focus on in the upcoming month. <clears throat> when we look at the obstacle we have the three of pentacles and there are these three freaking adorable little they look like puppies to me does anybody, does anybody else see puppies I see puppies um and they're all stacked up they're working together they're like little, little cheerleader puppies <laughs> and when we look at this energy as an obstacle how might this energy be blocked or how might it be in shadow I think a lot of us are going to be dealing with feeling like we're just not 
our, our goals aren't lining up with others in such a way that we're feeling like we're like butting heads with people or we're not actually smoothly collaborating or we're not working with others very well in the upcoming month. So look out for those sort of hiccups, look for those sort of like sticky points. Try not to let them stop you. You still need to kind of power through this month, but I feel like there's gonna be a little bit of stickiness when it comes to those like trying to work with others. Like it's gonna not feel as smooth and fluid as maybe we would prefer. <clears throat> And when we look at our advice for the month ahead, we have our beautiful Queen of Cups. And she's a very gentle reminder, I think, to remember that everybody could use a little bit of compassion and grace, including yourself. So remember to offer yourself a little bit of space, a little bit of compassion. Given the energy of the month, it's going to be really important to just soften where you can, bring your expectations into reality, if that's helpful, and remember that maybe you won't get it all done this month. Maybe not. But maybe you can just make it through and maybe that's enough. So that's my intuitive read on these three cards. I'm going to zoom us out, scooch these up to the side, and we're going to see what the guidebook has to say about the exact same <clears throat> three cards. So the nine of wands, there we go, is our little zebra figure. We open on runners in slow-mo, the chariots of fire theme playing in the background, the finish line in sight. Then someone face plants on a hurdle, someone else tumbles, and a pile up of runners ensues. Sound familiar? You may be close to reaching a major or minor goal right now, only to find you've been tripped up by one of life's more annoying tests of character. Fear not, fiery chariot. You can still accomplish everything you wanted to. You just have to get over this final hurdle. Stay focused, dust yourself off, and do what you have to do to cross that finish line. And then it says, <clears throat> it's a little asterisk note, note, and it says, like, climb over a bunch of bodies and a broken hurdle. And the affirmation, because this is the affirmator's tarot, I've got this, I can do this, I will finish this, and then I can complain as much as I want. <laughs> I freaking love this guidebook, you guys. And the affirmator's oracles have the same sort of language and tone and humor. <clears throat> love it. Okay, I think that really echoes what I was saying. We're in that last push. We just need to get to the finish line. That's the goal of the upcoming month. So I feel like my intuitive message and the message from the guidebook are very much in synergy, which is great. <clears throat> Sorry for all the throat clearing. My throat is like hoarse today. Everything's fine. I've just been filming a lot. <clears throat> all right. Let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles. So remember, this is an obstacle. So there's no reversed meanings in the guidebook. So we are going to have to extrapolate the reversed or blocked message here. So obstacle. While you're hard at work on a goal, dream, or shoot for the moon scheme, this card likes to stand on the sidelines and say, keep at it and you can do it. And come on, ref, are you blind? <laughs> Wait a minute, strike that last one. This spiritual cheerleader is a sure sign of encouragement. Now, again, if we pause for a second, if we kind of read the context of this of this guidebook entry and look at it through that reversed or how could this be a blockage energy? It could be that maybe people around us aren't recognizing that we're struggling and they're like, oh, you got this. And you're like, no, I don't. I'm really struggling. That could be it. Or maybe if this cheerleading energy is an obstacle, it could be that we're not feeling that encouragement. We're not feeling that sense of support and we're struggling as a result. <clears throat> so think about it that way. How can the energy be blocked? How could it be getting in my way? Because we are looking at this in the obstacle position. So it says... Uh, whatever you're working on or wishing for, stick with it. That's good advice regardless. And with patience, persistence, and possibly some friends who can be bribed for their assistance, you will achieve exactly what you set out to do. The affirmation is, I am a go-getting God slash des, and I won't stop till I get it. Got it? Love it. So again, trying to kind of extrapolate the blocked position, I think that really works. And let's take a look next at the Queen of Pentacles. She was our advice card. The Queen of Pentacles is the mother of safety, security, and our most basic human needs, food, shelter, hugs. She nurtures all in her midst. Bring her your concerns and let her dispel them all with a gentle reminder that you're a force of nature who can accomplish more than you realize. Having a hard time choosing between family and career? This queen says you don't have to. Do what you need to do to balance your time, keep things simple, and maintain the warm and loving spirit <clears throat> of a mom who can do it all. If it helps, go ahead and cross-stitch all of this on a pillow. I have the patience, power, and stamina to live however I want to, and I will not apologize for bringing home a baby goat. That's so random, but it's so funny. I just, I really, I really enjoy this. Um, in case you can't tell, this deck is really uh, uplifting 
and gentle and encouraging and that's something that's really wonderful about it can we also talk though for just a second about the color-coded backgrounds on these cards so swords is yellow wands are orange pentacles are green cups are blue and majors <clears throat> are purple which is like my color associations for majors and minors and if you notice they're not all the exact same shades of yellow right oh excuse me the majors are apparently pink and purple and yellow oh is that their elemental association somebody tell me if you know I'd be curious because this is actually like a dark blue I don't know no I don't know now is this gonna make me a liar no because the wands are definitely all orange there's a major so majors seem like pinks and indigos, kind of. Yeah, because there's a major. Definitely a blue for cups. Okay, so they are color-coded. I wasn't making that up. Okay, good. I don't feel like a liar now. Uh-oh. Except the hermit's green. Maybe I am a liar. <laughs> I'd have to look at this a little closer to see if I can sort it out. Judgment is also that... Oh, turquoise. So maybe the majors... Oh, there's a an orange... We the fourth. Okay, so the majors are not color coded, but the minors definitely are because swords are definitely yellows, cups are definitely blues. There's another turquoise for the major, another pink for the major, blue. So the minors are color coded. The majors are kind of just doing whatever the heck they want. But these, yeah, because that one's kind of like a dark green. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but that reading seemed very color coded, didn't it? But they are very bright and fun. They're bright and fun, right? <laughs> Anyways, so that is Tarot by the Book with the Affirmators Tarot. Um, again, really lovely deck, very affordable, fun humor, great for somebody who just wants a deck to pull out, read with, and work with the guidebook. This is definitely a great deck if you are the type of reader where you love to read the guidebook entries every day or every reading um, because I think this one has some real charm in that guidebook. So definitely recommended this deck. I think it's such a... Um, underdog I guess in our community it doesn't get a lot of attention but it's got a lot of humor and a lot of wisdom so that is the affirmators tarot <clears throat> thank you so much for joining me for tarot by the book hopefully we have a fantastic month ahead and thank you again so so much for joining me you will find all my links in the description box down below if you want to book a reading or you want to check out any of my other stuff you can see it all there down below do click like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new here and as always may your magic always shine from the inside out Bye, guys.